So let's talk about the concept of negative space. Now, it's a really important concept to use in your architectural photography because it gives a little bit room to breathe for your structure. It gives a little bit room to breathe for whatever you're photographing, whatever your subject happens to be. But specifically for architecture, it's a really interesting concept to utilize because oftentimes our instinct is to take that structure, take the building, whatever it is, and fill the frame with it. And that's not always such a bad thing, but when we approach it a slightly different way, we can utilize the sky specifically, especially on a clear sky like today. And if we put it in black and white mode, we can make that sky black and we can basically use negative space to give a little bit breathing room to the image and give a slightly different feel to the final result. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If we're gonna use negative space, we wanna make sure we have at least a third, if not more, of the frame, whether this is the bottom or the top, wherever you want that negative space, you wanna have enough room for the image to breathe. The fact that this is a clear blue sky means that there's no competition here for detail. Our focus still remains on the building. Now, I kind of like this composition right here. What I might do is tilt this just a little bit more. Again, this doesn't have to be perfectly straight up and down. And I really like this image. Rather than filling the frame, you'll see what happens. It's just too much of the foreground, too much at the bottom of the frame that's not interesting. By tilting up, even to just about here, that use of negative space gives a little bit of breathing room at the top of the image. Now, it's not just an important compositional tool, but think about the use case of your image as well. Oftentimes we're using our images in social media where we might want to include text, right? Having negative space at the top of the image or somewhere in the image gives you the opportunity to include text in a clean area of the image. Now let's try a different angle here. If I go to my 3X view, my telephoto zoom, Look what happens when I line up that corner on the bottom right hand side. This is a beautiful use case of negative space as well. I don't always have to fill my frame with the entirety of the structure. Using that negative space, that black sky in this case, helps give a little bit more detail and prominence to the left hand side of the frame and the beauty of the architecture as well. This video was a free preview of the Urban iPhone Photography online course. In this course, you'll discover everything you need to know to take stunning iPhone photos in a city environment. Whether you find yourself commuting to work or visiting a famous metropolis, you're gonna know exactly what to do to capture the unique character of that city. I'll show you how to photograph stunning skylines, unique architecture, busy streets, and of course, the people who make up the soul of the city. If you'd like to learn more about taking pictures in a city environment, please take a look at the full version of my Urban iPhone Photography course. You'll find that link in the description right next to this video. So click on that link right now and I'll see you inside the full version of the course.